It's me, Mikey Pipes. Welcome back to another fresh episode. I'm off to my next service call. This one is in Woodsburg, which is part of the five towns, nearby where I live. It's a uh, Taj Mahal under renovations, and uh, we're gonna check out the air conditioning. All right, let's go see what's going on. All right, this is like a grand room, and this is the pool room. Looks like they're putting a new Anderson windows in. Anyway, there's my return. And here's the thermostat. Gas does heat best, you're right. Let's turn this off. All right, clicked off, so we have relay working at least. Let's put that on there. Let's see if we have 24 volts anywhere here. Looks like there's two transformers there. Is there? No, one transformer. All right, so let's see what's going on between R and one of the other terminals. See if we have her. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. It's hard. There's green. There's red. I'm gonna feed you. See? I don't get any voltage there. You're plugged in the terminals, the leads. So I have no voltage here. So either we have a power problem, a transformer issue, something like that. Let's go to the air handler and see what's going on. All right, we're in the basement and there's a unit in this crawl space here. <sighs> Under construction, ladies and gentlemen. Under construction. I bet you the filth is dirty, by the way. But let me climb up there. I should get a step stool, but it is what it is. Let's just go see what the hell's going on up here. Uh, let's go see. See how I fucking feed you freaks? Wow. All right. No, I'm just looking at it like, wow, it's like sitting on nothing, basically. All right. Is this really how this is uh, situated? Yes. <laughs> We're in a Taj Mahal. And it's a regular filter, too. <laughs> oh, it's actually not dirty at all. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Daniel, this is hackery, in case you didn't know. All right, let's find out why there's no power here. All right, is that switch on? It's off. It's off? Why oh, off? look at that. <laughs> By the way, this is some real hackery. Oh, look at that, it was off. Someone left it off. Someone turned it off. You know, the good thing is, he already said everything was working for fine for a week or two. Okay. And then recently it's, it started to, uh, overall, uh, the house starting to not cool well, but someone turned that off. Oh my God, it's sabotage. Someone on, it's sabotage. All right, let me get my ass out of here. All right, let's go check out the other systems. Daniel is going to check filters, all right? Replace filters are all dirty. This one right here, it's first floor left. She's not really it's blowing out kind of like cold air. You know, this one's nice and, and warm, all right? Cold, this is nice and very warm. This one also is kind of warm, but something's up with this one here. Let's go, we're gonna get the gauges and see what's up with it. Man, there's one thing I don't like about this job and that's the damn rain. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. All right. The veto got a little wet. Especially it came down like a monsoon. It's an effing monsoon here, ladies and gentlemen. They say this is the after effects of that storm, Ida. But nonetheless, we're going to see if I can get in there with my testos and test pressure. Let's take a look at these pressures. Go see if she's got a TXV or not. There's a TXV. She's condensing. Alright. A lot of condensation on there, but those are weird pressures. Let's go figure that out. Dan, go take a look at the pressures on the pressure gauge on the manifold and let me know what you think. It's weird. Very weird, right? Um I don't know. I don't know if it's 
a good dog, but I... Is this the filters we took out of here? Yes. <laughs> and we just changed the filters, what, three, two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. August uh, 9th. Wow. All right, let's go look at these pressures. Something's very funky going on over here. Pull the disconnect. The pressures don't really want to seem to balance out, but I'm taking a visual inspection of the compressor and I see something kind of funky. Let me show you what's going on. Let's try to put that out of the way. Take a look at that. Why is that like that? This is like burnt. Why? Why is that burnt right there? Something is very, very weird. It's like a perfect like oval almost. Like there was a cut out there, but underneath it is weird. It's very, very, it's like blazing hot right Right where that is. The whole thing's really hot. Yeah. I bet we got a problem with this compressor. That's so weird though, that it's that perfect shape. I know. It looks like there's a label over this. See that? Mm. There's a label. This is not there's a label over this label. I mean under it. Alright, see that? Very hot to the touch. And very, very weird what she's doing as far as pressures go. This one has the same thing on the compressor. Does it? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Hard to see, but look at that. Interesting. Let's take a look at this one. This train. No, this train is normal. This train is normal. This one doesn't have it? No, this one's normal. Similar type of sticker, but it's not missing. I have an idea. Actually, I have a very good thought. Look at these brazing uh, joints. Just look at that. That's not a factory braze. That's too snotty to be factory. And so is that. This is a replacement compressor. This is a replacement compressor. That's what it is. And this one's probably the same thing. Kind of hard to tell, but they're both not factory compressors. And for whatever reason, I got my money on the compressor, not the TXV. Compressor sounds very, very funky. Those pressures. All right, I want you to close that that uh, liquid line service valve, and let's see what this thing does. Let's see if she can pump down at all. I don't think she can. Uh, what? That's a good idea. It is a good idea, I know. And you can see whether it's really, really compressing. Yes. It's closed. It's fully closed? Yeah. Let's give it a minute. down very very slowly but we're not compressing yeah. we got a dead compressor the question is why do we have a dead compressor because we're about what 30 seconds into it yeah and I, that's a bad compressor that's a bad compressor let's keep let's give it some more time and see what it does I just want to see how long it's going to take for it before it does anything. I'll spare you guys the details. It's been another like three, four minutes and this compressor is suspect. Very, very, very suspect. All right, she actually pumped down to around 52 PSI. 52 PSI, 52 PSI. I started hearing some grinding, abnormal grinding sounds coming from the compressor. And then real briefly, the contactor opened and then closed. But nonetheless, I disconnected power. And it's been roughly 15 minutes, and the pressures only went to 66 and 64 uh, PSI on both sides. Um, definitely suspecting that TXV as the origin, the origin uh, of this issue. This compressor was replaced once before, and I'm not replacing it again. She's gonna get a brand new condenser and a brand new TXV, 
and problem solved and maybe even flush out the line sets make sure there's no impurities or any uh anything any acid whatsoever none of that stuff right daniel yeah exactly